But Thomas didn't hear him. Farmer McCole was waiting on the platform. Thomas wished to a halt. Thomas, he exclaimed, what are you doing with that snowman? Oh no, tooted Thomas. Suddenly, the snowman danced in front of Thomas again. Mr. Snowman, I told you to go back to the children. Why are you still following me? Farmer McCole didn't understand. And Thomas didn't know how to tell Farmer McCole about his frosty friend. Thomas steamed off as quickly as he could. He hoped the snowman wouldn't follow him. Thomas, called Farmer McCole. Why do you have a giant balloon tied to your buffers? But Thomas didn't hear him. Thomas had to stop at the signal at Maithwaite Station. Emily was picking up passengers. Emily could see the snowman bobbing about behind Thomas. Thomas, laughed Emily, what are you doing with that snowman? Oh no, tooted Thomas. Suddenly the snowman floated in front of Thomas again. Mr. Snowman, I told you to go back to the children, cried Thomas. Why are you still following me? Thomas steamed off as quickly as he could. He hoped that the snowman wouldn't follow him. Thomas, whistled Emily, why do you have a giant balloon tied to your buffers? But Thomas didn't hear her. He didn't know how to make Mr. Snowman go back to the children. Then he had an idea. I'll hide, puffed Thomas quietly. Thomas chuffed into a lonely siding. He couldn't see the snowman. Mr. Snowman won't be able to find me. Then he will have to go back to the children. Suddenly, a gust of wind blew hard. Mr. Snowman danced in front of Thomas again. He was still following him. I must tell Sir Topham Hatt what has happened, cried Thomas. I need his help. And Thomas raced off. Thomas puffed back into Maithwaite Station. Farmer McCole and Sir Topham Hatt were there. Please, sir, peeped Thomas. I don't know what to do. I've tried to tell Mr. Snowman to go back to the children, but he has been following me everywhere. And he still is, laughed Sir Topham Hatt. The snowman is a balloon, Thomas. And he is caught on your buffers. He is following you because you are pulling him. A balloon, whistled Thomas. I thought snowmen were always made of snow and ice. Thomas felt very happy. Now he could take the Mr. Snowman balloon back to the children. The children were delighted to see Thomas and Mr. Snowman. They cheered and cheered. And Thomas was very happy to have returned their frosty friend. <laughs>